As the plane reached 1,200 feet just 37 seconds after takeoff, the right-hand engine sounded a warning indicating a problem. In response to the alarm, the pilots throttled back the left-hand engine. A few seconds later, the right engine auto-feathered, an automatic setting designed to reduce drag during an engine failure. Another six seconds later, the first of five stall warnings sounded, lasting for approximately six seconds. The pilots then attempted to restart the left-hand engine. The crew then radioed the tower, wrongly reporting a flame-out or a loss of combustion. Further attempts to restart the stalled engines failed before the plane clipped an expressway hitting a taxi before ploughing into the Geelong River.